What is this? It's another Russian rock. Where is it? Under the town of Brewery. How do you know where? I just look out the window. Our world has gone crazy. A long time ago. On the 24th of February of the 2022. No. As early as 23rd of February, but 2014. Well, I think the rocks haven't fallen near here before. Ooh. Can you write about pressure? <laughs> what kind of offer is that? They invited to a festival competition again? Yeah. No. Some kind of creative competition without festival. Someone came up with an idea to write a play on the topic of crash. So what? And so what? We will select the best works, they say. We publish them in a separate collection, and three main winners will receive awards. Amounts of the prize are? Not specific. Don't write. Why? Don't waste your time on nonsense. It's some kind of competition, so... What competition? We who do you need to compete? Well, uh, I don't know. Um, but you don't know the participants in this kind of so-called competition, do you? No, I, I don't know. The reward amount for the winner, do you? No, I don't know. So, don't you know that the organizers of these so called competitions, uh, what are they? <laughs> Will pronounce themselves as winners, eh? Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I believe not exactly in that primitive way, but. Oh. Okay, okay, but uh, you know, it, uh, it stimulates me. What exactly motivates you so much? People come up with an idea. They're gonna to compete, uh, to organize, I mean. So. Who are you going to compete with them? I, I don't know, but. But Chef's too. Shostuk will Shut definitely up. put something on. Yes, I tell you. And what do you get out of that? I will write better than his ass for sure. And will you get the first prize? Oh, I will get it. Without even knowing what the amount of the prize could be. Well, the situation in the country is difficult now. It's hard with money. They could give us at least something, so... I would not let my husband be humiliated in this way. How do I supposed to be humiliated, dear? You are ready to write anything for anyone? And even free all your days and nights? Mm -hmm. But... It's... Uh, it's an exciting topic. Which one? Pressure. I'm concerned about the topic of pressure. Not really, yeah. Did you come up? With the theme for your next flavors. Of course I can, but sometimes it's so hard to find the topic to to come up with the name. Of course you've been neglecting my request to write an essay on my mom's biography for eight last years. To write a play on the topic of mother in law? My mother. She's the widow of the military man. My husband. Yeah, was a hero. So this kind of pressure I mean. And on which side do you feel the pressure? On my part? Or on the part of my mother in whose apartment we live you now? We live here temporarily. Okay? Girl, there is nothing more permanent than all this kind of temporary. And so I will write. Okay, okay. Decisive. The pressure is mine. The pressure is precious. Some people live under pressure, and my pressure lives inside me. 147 by 100, okay? Here, half of the cup to press pill.
full of Corvalent build and where is it? One second, I'll find it. Aha! Eureka! And still, I forgot the name of a play I had just invented. This is because of me. No, darling, I forgot it all by myself uh, because you know I haven't uh, approved this topic to myself. I haven't experienced it. I haven't gotten along with it. So. With her. With the, with the subject. Mm -hmm. Oh God! No, it's not him. It's another Russian missile. Somewhere near Russell Keith, I guess. How can you be sure of that? It could be to the south of us, uh, near uh, Odessa Highway. There it is. And there are beasts. They say Putin did it by his advisors. Hardly. If so, all the Russians are fooled. I am afraid of Florence. Lipstick? Why there is a lipstick in my pocket? Dear whatever I am. What's that? Don't make me laugh. Ah, <laughs> it's not a lipstick, it's a patch. Look. And you don't have to hit the beat that I'm not preparing dinner. Uh, uh what uh, what this pills calls the third one? I have to consume three of them. For its size. Jesus Christ, who calls the pills this way? Uh. Nobody dies here pronouncing the name of the drugs. Oh. <laughs> not yet. Anyway, I was writing another play, but then I saw an announcement. Playwright theatre could be a chance for opening. Yeah, this could be a new discovery. Send us two pages of your text written specifically for pressure presentation. And then, and then, why won't give it a try? Are you asking me? <laughs> I'm shocked. At last, I'm being consulted on creative issues. Clarice, do you understand that you're my first customer? Ah, oh, the pressure increases! Darling! I, <coughs> I want to ask you. How many years in a row does my creative inaction last? Well, let's see. Okay, I cannot see. Uh, 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 private constructing, uh, sole proprietorship. Uh, I believe you. Oh, the girl I would like to fall in love with. Uh, my boss. The doorman in front of the restaurant door. The policeman who led me somewhere. But anyone could ignite me with some idea. I want to follow them like a little cop. Uh, I wonder how many years I haven't been uh, come up with the suggestion. Well, I approached you with an offer. Wow, so now I should take you to my apartment. <laughs> is this a suggestion, is it? Yeah. The sweets are too sweet. Don't give me sugar. Where do you have sugar? I drink your coffee without sugar for the third day in a row, but it turns out you do have sugar. Full of sugar is vermouth. Hmm. What is the vermouth? That's what you drink. It's martini. Okay, let it be martini. Oh, martini. I'm a martin, you're a seagull. What is pressure? It needs to be knocked down. I don't need to be knocked down. No, I'm hypertensive. Oh, come on, how are we all just going to come down? I'm calm. 
I'm just getting into this new play of mine. Mm -hmm. This way, I was referring to my pressure. The rocket hit us? No, it did not hit us. Why are you so sure of that? Well, if it hit us, we would not have heard anything, and we would not have felt anything. And where did it hit? Looks like it hit some building near Central Railway Station. Do you think so? Honey, I see this directly through the glass of our window. Mother of God, why will we stop? They say they have 2,000 similar missiles. And how many have they already shot to us? They shoot in many cities, not only in Kiev. Is there anything you can do to prevent the Russians from shooting at us? <laughs> Me? No. But we, we can put more international pressure on Moscow. Maybe then Russia will start the war against Ukraine. Do you have a weapon? No, I don't have a weapon. You must buy yourself some guns. Why? To kill the Russians when they come? <laughs> there's, there's a lot of them. I, can't. I know. Not only a few Russians will come to our door in sight with their desire to kill you. You treat me. And uh, shall I humiliate you? Oh. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, but the government. Government does not allow us to own guns. What? Government believes that with the guns in, uh, in our hands, we'll take it to the streets and kill each other. Why would we have to kill each other when at this time Russian missiles are destroying our missiles? After Russian tanks crash into our cities and destroyed the remains of our houses, Russian soldiers come after the tanks to kill all of us. I, I don't know. Government uh, governs us and uh, relies on its uh, advisors and advisors. Does our government protect itself the same way? Huh. I'm sure our government is guarded by enough quantity of armed men. <laughs> then some of us here obviously went crazy. <laughs> Great. Who? The Russians. Ah. Our government. Um, the advisors, mm -hmm. probably you and me. <laughs> you know, darling, you sound logical. Uh, I believe so far you and I are definitely not crazy. So are you going to buy a gun? Do you really want me to buy myself a weapon? I would. I don't think that I should spend some money on a gun. Having hmm. our limited financial resources, they say we must not. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I just wait for the times when automatic assault rifles just wallow in the streets. And could that happen even here? Maybe it's not guaranteed uh, that it's going to happen. How are we supposed to live in those wild conditions? In order not to scramble against uh, machine guns, people just uh, push them aside uh, from the sidewalk with their feet. Yeah, making room for themselves to pass. And you? I just uh, grab a couple of them and bring them home. Uh -huh. yeah. And then our apartment? Uh, will be turned into long-term firing point, yeah. 
We will defend ourselves against the Russians. Yes. We will shoot from our balcony. Uh -huh. We will shoot from the windows in the living room. Yeah. And from the window in the kitchen. You. Yes. Uh, well, uh, instead of that, I think we'll be, uh, you know, in the bathroom uh, waiting without the hitch for a while. Holding the defense. Waiting for the Russian right to end. You have to provide our family with weapons. Against whom? Against our end. No, where never hesitate. Hesitate where? Be this and that. <laughs> Do you want to offend me again? What? I'm not too fat, I'm sorry. Darling, uh, I will wait with that issue, but don't you put pressure on me, okay? What does the pressure have to do with it? And don't distract my attention, you just said that you have sugar. Yes, sugar. Well? Well, when you put enough sugar, it uh, provokes high blood pressure. So what? So we, it put darks in my eyes. However, I can see everything through the twilight here. It's, it's blue. And I see it gray. It's because you're walking around here with your sunglasses on. Why? Why? Because you were skiing in Protasiv Yar on your snowboard, that's why. For real? Yes. <laughs> you returned home all wet, uh, without, uh, with your uh, socks around your neck, yes. Without a hat. <laughs> and also you wore other men's ski pants on. Yeah, when, you, when I informed you about it, you replied that you could not go home in your uh, underwear because you were undercover. Oh my god. Yes, and uh, because of glitter of too white snow, you got uh, night blindness. Ah. Uh -huh. So you. That. So it's no. Night blindness. No, there's no one. Okay. You are an annoying shoving this man. Sure. There are other individuals in that city. Yes. Individuals with a different vision of the world. Uh, with the different position, with the different uh, inclinations, with the different um, There is nothing funny about that. I will remember that. Write it yourself somewhere else. About whom? Me. Why don't you write it to yourself then? Because my hands are bandaged. Ah, yeah, that's right. Uh, because I put bandages on you, and uh, also I advise you to wear some What? You haven't done them since then. Because I have them? Okay. And... Uh, what you must be this sugar? Okay, I will count. Don't Pressure on me. No, how can I put pressure on you? Because you looked at me after snowboarding in such a way if I owe you. <laughs> no, it, it was just uh, my pressure. Which one? Blood pressure. In which group? I, I don't know, you just pressing, that's it. It's you who put pressure on me. Look, I've seen you for the first time in my life just a couple hours ago. You were all wet and I invited you to dry all your clothes and that's it. No, I know these tricks. Andreas, dear, we will dry all your clothes and then BOOM! I'm wandering somewhere in the middle of the city with a wet man's ski pants on.
Are we still alive? Yes, you heard of the explosion. That is, that is not ours. Yes, Russian rocket hit, hit someone else. And where did that someone else live? It looks like it hit mm, behind Wishgard. Is Kyiv so small that we hear explosions all the way in the suburbs? No, it's just the rockets are so powerful that you can hear them from afar. And what are they called? Differently, but I believe all of them are safe. Which they will look like? Yeah, well, Russians are aware that by killing Ukrainians, they're doing a job of a deal. Is it cross of you? Why? You have us back for what? Which? Russians? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Sutton and Dale. Aha. Now you have to put a cross on you. I'm not sure Russian rockets do not care. Yeah. So you have to lower your pressure. Okay. Okay. There's still another one in the locker. Coffee must be with sugar. Uh -huh. I remember. So. Um, and what were you doing here when you came? Uh, you know, I wrote a play. Oh, it's hot. And you are no longer an anti aircraft gunner. And you are afraid enough to attend this lawyer. Uh, no, honey, I'm all right. So, uh, you entered and then... Uh, just Appeared! Like it's true. Perfect. Uh, amazingly appeared and then... And uh, then? And then I write uh, another play by myself, long. Now I'm writing a play with you. What? Uh, okay, about you, of course. So, you appeared and... Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, now I can I lay down for a little bit. What did you write? Uh, the play is called. The UFO does not uh, fall into the same place twice. And who is the author? Me. And who am I? Well, it depends. For what? For the author. When? Uh, it's a play by Volodymyr uh, Sergei. With the, the characters? Yeah, there's a couple of actors on stage. What characters? Well, uh, from the outside of the spaceship, there are a taxi driver, uh -huh. policeman, uh -huh. beauty in the bar, oh, it's me. priest. It's you. Yes, and from the inside, there is a male alien. It's you. Female alien. It's me. Alien leader. Oh, what kind of worship is that? Where on the other planet do you want the leader? Cheerleader, maybe? A tiger cop. Oh, the tiger cop is good. Live an iguana. It's me, hey? Yes. A dead iguana with two beaten off legs. Oh, no, 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 it's <laughs>